I haven't fished in forever. See, I've been trying to close the deal on my new place and get my old place sold. The last time I touched a fly rod before putting them into storage was the Salty Fly Tournament. The Salty Fly is the world's largest fly fishing tournament. Sorry, Sam, that was a pretty weak intro. I said the world's largest fly fishing tournament. The tournament was created by professional photographer, Sam Root. It's been held in Ruskin the last five years. It started with 40 teams, but now has grown into 100 teams for the tournament. Trying to get into this tournament is like trying to win the lotto. The way it works is last year's teams get a five day advanced sign up before release to the general public. With a tournament of this size and caliber, spots were really open for the three day event. The tournament kicks off with a captain's meeting that includes an amazing spread. After dinner, Sam always has some cool fish movie to show to the attendees to help them get hyped for the next day of fishing. This year, Sam got his hands on some new films from the Geofish guys. After the film, Sam had some amazing items to raffle off that were donated by the tournament sponsors. The next morning, we woke early to make it to the 6.30 a.m. sign-in. Sam went over the rules and the tournament started. Chris Sexton and I made a long trip back to Tampa to fish. Our plan was to get away from the crowds. This plan did not work. Every prime spot in the upper bay had guys blind casting or push pulling. We spent our time during the tournament trying to stay out of the wind, but never caught anything worth going on the boards. We got back to the weigh-ins before the 3 p.m. deadline to see the party had already started. Everyone likes to get prime seats for the trophy presentation and the even more important raffle. Scores are tallied and the winners are presented with cash and prizes. Their trophies are custom Nautilus real plates and artwork created by the talented artist Courtney Marie Martin. I personally enjoyed the interviews of the winners because Sam asked the competitors what flies and methods they used to make it into the top three finish. Interesting enough, the bendback fly seemed to be the go-to fly of the day. Sam has some serious connections in the fishing industry and all the prime fishing companies come out to participate in this tournament. I've seen a lot of raffles at fishing events, but the salty fly is on a different level. Once Sam calls the first raffle number, it doesn't stop. Premium fishing clothing, fly rods, power poles, and even custom boat paddle boards make their way into the competitors' hands. The next day after the tournament is the casting push pole competition presented by G. Limus and Hell's Bay. The casting competition puts the competitors against making near perfect casts into small rings in the sand at varying distances. Part of the competition gets pretty wild. Anglers have to make equally as difficult casts into rings floating in the water, but with the added difficulty of doing it on a skiff with a partner push pulling. This really shows the incredible skill set of some anglers as they work together as a team as they surgically break down the course. the tournament is officially over. Like I said guys, trying to get in this tournament is near impossible, but if you want to crack at next year's tournament, you gotta stay on social media. Sam will post updates about the tournament on his Salty Shores blog and social media accounts throughout the year. Links are in the description below. Alright guys, new studio's finished. I'm heading out in the water. See ya.